Yesterday afternoon, New York City police officers arrested a 27-year-old Al-Qaeda sympathizer who was plotting to bomb police patrol cars and also postal facilities, as well as targeted members of our armed forces returning from abroad. Jose Pimentel, P-I-M-E-N-T-E-L, of Washington Heights, which is in the north, northern end of Manhattan, faces terrorism-related charges. Over two years ago, the New York City Police Department became aware of a follower of the radical cleric Anwar el Alaki. The follower, then residing in Schenectady, New York, was talking about traveling to Yemen for training before returning to New York to become a martyr in the name of jihad. That was Jose Pimentel, an unemployed native of the Dominican Republic and convert to Islam who lived most of his life in Manhattan. Pimentel is a U.S. citizen. Before returning to Washington Heights last year, he lived in Schenectady for about five years, where he made even some of his like-minded friends nervous by his extremism. He talked about changing his name to Osama Hussein to celebrate his heroes Osama bin Laden and Saddam Hussein. As in other terrorist cases, Pimentel's behavior morphed from simply talking about such acts to action, namely bomb building. Pimentel followed instructions from Anwar el Alaki's Inspire magazine to first acquire the bomb-making materials and then assemble them. He relied on a particularly notorious article called How to Make a Bomb in the Kitchen of Your Mom. The suspect was a so-called lone wolf, motivated by his own resentment of the presence of American troops in Iraq and Afghanistan, as well as inspired by al-Qaeda propaganda. He was not part of a larger conspiracy emanating from abroad. He represents exactly the kind of threat FBI Director Robert Mueller and his experts have warned about as American military and intelligence agencies have eroded al-Qaeda's ability to launch large-scale attacks.